New research tonight from the University of Utah shows the severity of COVID-19 is linked to the severity of complications in pregnancy. Those with mild COVID may have no complications. As new specialist Jed Bull shows us, researchers hope this information will help doctors as they counsel pregnant patients. Yeah, Dini, when pregnant women catch COVID-19, they don't know how bad the illness is going to be and how it might impact their unborn baby. This research provides a better understanding of which pregnant women may have the most serious complications. For me, I felt like it was just a cold. Melissa Lamson caught COVID in September and found out later she was also pregnant. It was a cough for a day and fatigue and just those typical symptoms. But she did not know what that meant for her unborn baby. I was like, oh my goodness. And I kind of tracked when I had been exposed and I was definitely pregnant at time of exposure. So for me, I was thinking, Oh, gosh, like, I hope this is an okay thing. She comforted herself that her illness was mild. Now, research backs that up. So these um, results suggest that there are adverse pregnancy outcomes among patients who develop COVID-19 in pregnancy. They do seem to be predominantly limited to that severe and critical group but we don't have control over who ends up being in that severe and critical group. The lead author, Dr. Tori Metz, is a maternal fetal medicine subspecialist. The study of more than 1,200 pregnant women shows that those who become severely or critically ill due to the virus are at greater risk of dying and experiencing serious pregnancy complications compared to those who are asymptomatic. But pregnant women with mild or moderate illness were not at higher risk of pregnancy complications than those without symptoms. In some ways, I think this is reassuring to patients who only have mild to moderate disease that's managed in the outpatient setting that we don't anticipate that they will go on to have adverse pregnancy outcomes. Lamson's baby is due in June. She says that she's doing great and all of her baby's tests are just perfect too.